Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, helping you build a better website. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a domain name and SSL certificate to your Cloudways account. So in a previous video, I showed you how to set up your Cloudways account and install WordPress in 10 minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your domain name and an SSL certificate in Cloudways. And we're going to do it in four steps. So the first thing you'll need to do is buy your domain name if you don't already have one. And then we're going to add our Cloudways IP address as a DNS record. I'll show you exactly how to do that. It's very straightforward. And then we need to add the domain name in Cloudways. And then we can install the SSL certificate in Cloudways. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So let's get started. So if you don't have your domain name already, then you can go to namecheap.com or there's a link in the description below this video and click on that link and you'll come to this website and whatever you want your website name to be called you can just type that into this box just here and I'm going to register my domain name which is free wpebook.com um, as this will be a, a domain name that I'll, I'll need to use in the future so I'm just going to type that in here and then to click on the button to search for it and then you should see if it's available and if it's got this uh, tick next to it and you can add it to your cart then it's available but if it's not available then there'll be an X here and you might need to find a different domain name so when you've got a domain name that you like click on add to cart and then view item um, or you can go up here and click on view cart just here and I'm going to register this for one year if you want to do more than one year you can choose from this drop down box I'm just going to leave all these settings as default and then click on confirm order and if you don't have an account already then you can come over to this box which says create an account and enter a username and password and some details click on create account I've already got an account so I'm just going to put in my username and password in here and then once you have created your account and you log in you'll see the payment page where you can add your card details and once you've added your card details you can click on continue and then on the overview page it will ask you to verify your details and your card is correct and then you can click on pay now and then once that order has gone through you'll see this thank you page and what you want to do is come over to this button where it says manage and click on manage so when step one is done we can then move on to step two which is add your Cloudways IP address as a DNS record and to do that what you need to do is come over to advanced DNS and then you need to go to your Cloudways account and where you've created your server for your WordPress website we need to copy this IP address and the easiest way to do that is just click on the www and then click on your website and then you'll see the IP address just here and you can just click on it and that will copy that to the clipboard and then come back over to your Namecheap account and we're going to add the IP address as a DNS record so just come over to add new record and then select a record and then in the host name you want to put an at symbol and then where it says IP address just paste the IP address in and then under TTL you want to choose one minute and then click on this tick to save the changes and then what we can do is delete these two here because we don't need these two anymore. And what the at symbol does is it's going to point our domain name to the IP address without the www dot. Because whenever I set up a new website, I set it up so that there's no www dot at the beginning because it just makes the domain name longer and it doesn't I don't feel like it's necessary anymore but if you prefer to have www dot at the beginning of your URL then you can add www dot here instead of the at symbol um, but I always just leave it as the at so if I just show you an example here's my blog coffeeshopblogger.com and I don't have the www dot at the beginning so if you want to have yours the same then use the at symbol but if you want to have www dot at the beginning 
of your domain name, then you need to put www in here instead. So I just wanted to clear that up. Okay, so then once we have added the DNS record in Namecheap, we can then add the domain name in Cloudways. So we're on to step three, which is add the domain name in Cloudways. So come back over to your Cloudways account and you need to click on domain management. And remember, if you've seen the, the previous video where I show you how to set up your Cloudways account, we get this private domain name given to us by Cloudways. And we can use this domain name to set up our website and play around with WordPress. But what we want to do now is change this domain name to our own domain name. And the way you do that is by coming over to domain management, you click on domain management, and then we're going to paste our domain name into this field here. So just type in or paste in your domain name just here. And if you used the at symbol, then you just need to leave out the www. So just type it in like that. But if you use the www here, then you'll need to make sure you add www dot in the primary domain name um, as well. So because I've got mine as the at symbol, I just need to leave it as as that and then just click on save changes. Okay, so then the, the domain name has been added. And if we come back over to access details, we can see that my domain name has been updated just here and in the admin URL as well. Before I click on the domain name, what I want to do is update the SSL certificate. So we're on to the last step, step four, which is install the SSL certificate in Cloudways. So what you need to do is click on SSL certificate and then leave this Dropbox as let's encrypt. And then you can put in an email address in this field. It can be any email address. And then in the domain name, you just need to put in the same domain name that you put in domain management and make sure you add www dot at the beginning if you put in www dot in here and then click on install certificate so it's adding the certificate and it just takes a couple of minutes and i thought i would just point out that this cloudways logo it's got like the heartbeat going here and it says cw i noticed this a few weeks ago and i thought that was really cool okay so then the certificate has been added and what you'll see is this pop-up and it's asking you if you want to enable HTTPS redirection. And this is a fairly new feature in Cloudways. And what it means is that if somebody types in your website, HTTP without the S, it's going to forward them to the HTTPS version. So I always select this now because it's a really good feature to have. Um, and it stops people from coming to your website and then seeing like an error to say that you don't have uh, an SSL certificate. So I always make sure I click on this enable HTTPS now. So click on enable HTTPS and then the HTTPS has been enabled. So click on close and the certificate gets renewed every three months. So we don't need to worry about the renewal. It just does it automatically for us. So now we can come over to access details again. And now when we click on the website, it's going to open the website up with the HTTPS and the certificate installed on our domain name. And if we click on the admin URL just here, we'll come over to the, the login screen and we might need to copy the username and password again and click on login and if we go to settings and general and um, we can see that the WordPress address for our WordPress website has been updated with the domain name and the HTTPS as well so we don't need to worry about updating anything Cloudways does this automatically for us so that is how you add a domain name and SSL certificate in Cloudways I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet, click on the red subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I put out new videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.